and that they should support the truth and stand against evil. It talks about prayer, hajj, respecting Allah's symbols, and sacrifice. Assalamu alaikum. Hajj is the fifth pillar in Islam. It is a special journey that Muslims take once in their lifetime to visit the holy site in Mecca. Today I will give you a summary of Surah Al Hajj. Al Hajj, the pilgrimage. It has 78 ayahs and it's the 22nd surah of the Quran. This surah speaks of Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca, and other acts of worship Allah asks from us. Allah tells the people that Muslims are the rightful custodians of Mecca, and not idol worshippers. Surah Hajj also reminds the people that the judgment day is near, and that they should support the truth and stand against evil. It talks about prayer, Hajj, respecting Allah's symbols, and sacrifice. It also gave the Muslims the permission to defend and fight back the disbelievers and praises those who struggled for Islam. Surah Hajj teaches us some important lessons. We must support and defend the truth in every way that we can. We can do this by writing about it, telling others about it, and spending our money for it. If we want to succeed, we must do all the good things that we can. When we sacrifice animals for Allah, we should do it with piety. We must not show off. Do you know any interesting facts about the Quran? Let's hear it. Here is another reason why I love reciting the Quran. Because it is said that if you recite the Quran every day, there will be divine light emitting from your faces. Can you imagine just because that you read the Quran every day, light comes out of your face? When the Prophet was in the cave, the angel came to him and said, Iqra, read, read, and he didn't know how to read. And then he memorized the whole entire Quran and that's how he learned to read. Arabic words you should know. Zalzala means quake. Raib means doubt. Sabab means rope. Bait means house. Odan means idols. Oh wait, before we proceed, some of my friends have some tips for all of us on how they memorized the Quran. Let's listen. You have to listen to it. Um, more than once, at least more than once, then, then when you have fully memorized one page, you go to the other page until you memorize the whole surah. I, when I'm done my homework at 7, I think, I, I do the Quran at 7.30 or 8.30. Did you know that pilgrimage to Mecca was a tradition that started with Prophet Ibrahim a.s.? Anyone want to share anything else? It's important for kids around the world to memorize surahs so they can get close to Allah.